Hey, I'm David Tisch. I'm the co-founder and managing partner at Box Group. We're an early stage seed fund based in New York City. We're an investor in about 200 early stage companies. I'm also the co-founder and chairman of Spring, the world's best place to shop on your phone. It's a mobile marketplace that allows brands to sell directly to consumers. So it's, it's really hard to define what you're looking for as an early stage investor. I believe this entire business is art and not science. And so art's in the eye of the beholder. So we're looking at everything. You're looking at everything, team, market, idea, product, and what we think is that special sauce of why is this team the best team to work on this product? If all that comes together, that entire story, we make an investment. If there are holes that we find, we'll ask a lot of questions around those holes and get confident that the, the team can either solve those holes or not, if they can and they convince us that that story again, they're, they're able to solve that, that gap, we'll invest. I think New York's in this unique place right now. Uh, where tech is working is at a much higher level in terms of the development stack than ever before. And so the tech innovation that needs to happen for a social app or a, a media app or a commerce app to work is very minimal. And so what you're seeing win is design. You're seeing experience, you're seeing storytelling, marketing, all those intangibles that are very disconnected from just actual coding. And if you think about what's New York's strengths, it's the creativity, it's the, the uniqueness of this environment. The people are coming from all different backgrounds, from all different places to, to be great at something. That's a really good factor for New York to win in the long run. I just, I recently joined Cornell Tech, so uh, this is um, five classes into the, the first semester. Um, Cornell Tech is a graduate campus in New York City. Today we're housed in the Google building. We'll be moving to our own campus on Roosevelt Island in about two to three years. Uh, this is a fundamental piece of where New York City tech ecosystem is going. We're building a top tier institution for engineers, for MBAs, for designers, and for more over time to come onto this campus and not just learn, but actually do. And so what Startup Studio is, is every student that joins Cornell Tech has to start a company and go through Startup Studio in order to, to figure out how to do that faster and better. And so we're trying to take in a combination of academics and real life experiences and push the students to really create something. I think as an early stage investor, you can't get too high and you can't get too low. And so in this business, you have to understand that not everything's gonna succeed. And so some stuff's gonna go up and then come down. Some stuff's never gonna go up and other stuff is gonna have bumps along the way. And I think that the key to me as an early stage investor is to, to be true and consistent and patient. And so when you have something that goes all the way up and then comes down, I think the key, like an NFL cornerback, you're taught if you get burned for a touchdown, just move on to the next play. I think it's very similar here. You can't get too affected by one-off things. And so what you look for is a pattern. If there's a pattern that you can learn from and you say, okay, I don't want to repeat that pattern again, that's one thing. But I think aberrations are pretty irrelevant to future decisions. Spring is a mobile marketplace. We allow brands to sell directly to consumers. We're working with 700 brands right now and over 2,000 are coming on board over the next year. And what it allows consumers to do is, as a consumer, you're not downloading an individual brand app. And if you download an individual brand app, you're not putting it on your home screen and you're not opening it every day. And so Spring is a one-stop shop to go shopping. If you want to go shopping, whether it's for two minutes, whether it's for 10 minutes, whether it's for two hours like you would in Soho or in a mall, just open Spring, you follow your favorite brands, they post directly to the platform, and with one easy swipe, you buy. And so for consumers, it's every one of your brands in a beautiful app. And for brands, they get a direct-to-consumer channel that they control. So as a brand, you choose what to post, how much it costs, and it comes in your box, you get to own that entire experience. And I think for us, that's a magical opportunity, is allowing both sides to get what they want in here, and that's why we're building a marketplace. I think there's been incredible progress in New York over the past five years. You've had some real uh, great IPOs. You have Shutterstock, you have On Deck Capital that have been successful. Etsy's coming down the pipeline. There's some other big companies that are going to exit uh, through the public or the private market in the next couple months uh, that will continue this momentum. But I do think, uh, to your point, New York needs a, a foundational company, and that foundational company needs to employ 10,000, 50,000 people, whether they're all in New York or in the, the sort of surrounding areas, but that company needs to come from New York. And I think uh, my hope is that there's uh, the right stuff happening now to set up for that ecosystem. The talent is getting better, the talent's getting more experience, and so you'll see a big company happen over the next 10 to 20 years, for sure. I don't think we're in a tech bubble. I think if you look at where tech is penetrating today, it's in every single industry. And so to make tech this vertical, I think is a huge mistake. Tech's this horizontal thing that is hitting 
finance, it's hitting healthcare, it's hitting retail, it's hitting education, it's hitting consumer entertainment, it's hitting consumer uh, gain. Every single aspect of this world now is being penetrated with tech. There's nothing that's going to slow that down. Are there some companies that are overvalued? Sure. Are there some companies that are undervalued? Absolutely. But that's normal in any industry. Do I think that, that the, the environment we're living in might be macro inflated? Sure, but it's not some crazy bubble that's about to burst. Tech is literally penetrating in, in the Mark Andreessen sense of the world. Software is currently eating the world, and it's not going to stop. Mm -hmm.